So uh, I just want to show you guys some of the fire damage around here. Just going to hike for a few minutes, let you see what I see. Let me see what I see. up to somebody in front of me. Look at the mountainsides. And people still want to have fires on the trail. Basically not a day goes by on this hike where you don't walk through a previous burned area. It's really really amazing just how how many different fires must have raged through Southern California to create what I've been seeing, you know? It's about 9 o'clock in the morning, May 9th, Monday, I think. Kind of lose track. It's kind of nice to lose track of what day of the week it is, to tell you the truth. No such thing as weekends, no such thing as work days. You get up, maybe you cook breakfast, maybe you eat gorp, and you go. Um, I got up about when I wanted to this morning, but between cooking breakfast and filtering water, it took me probably an hour, hour and a half. So I really didn't get going until eight o'clock. And in spite of the fires, some trees survive. Some trees are burned all up and down and they're healthy, and but most of them don't. Did 19 and a half miles yesterday. What's interesting is every part of my body can do that now. My legs, my butt, my back, my shoulders, my neck, my arms, my toes. But I do have one Achilles heel. You might be surprised to find out it is my Achilles heel, literally. Uh, after about 15 miles, I'm good, and if I go beyond that, my heel really starts to ache. And uh, I did 19 and a half yesterday, which, you know, so basically a 20 mile day, and I'd love to do 22 and make it to the hot springs today, but that would just be a mistake. I'd probably break myself too much to do any miles the day after. So we'll do hot springs midday tomorrow. I know, poor me, right? Okay, this video is up to four minutes, it's going to be a bitch to upload, so this is Focus on the Pacific Crest Trail, about mile 288-ish. Good day.